What's up guys, Billy here, and today we will be discussing some of the changes made to the DJI goggles in the latest firmware update. This update, version 01.00.0600, was pushed out on August 22nd, 2017. Here's a list of the changes implemented in this firmware update. You can pause the video to read them over, but for now, let's go over these in a bit more depth. This update to the goggles comes in big for drones other than the Mavic. For the longest time, the Mavic was basically the only DJI drone that was able to take advantage of head tracking flight and head tracking gimbal. But now, coupled with some new drone firmware updates, we are able to use these new features on drones other than just the Mavic. For those of you wondering what head tracking is, you basically control the camera and gimbal by moving your head, which gives you the sensation of literally sitting up in the sky. If you want a full explanation and demonstration, check out my goggles review by clicking the video or the link in the top right corner or down in the description. Now I mentioned in my Spark update video and I want to bring it up in this video as well, these goggles really wouldn't be worth it without the head tracking feature. They're expensive and they're clunky, two things that really are the weak points or the biggest weak points of the goggles. And if I was someone that owned the Spark and the goggles, I'd be upset that I wasn't able to take advantage of those head tracking features. But now, as long as you're plugged into the remote for the DJI Spark, you will be able to use these head tracking features and I've got to say they're a lot of fun. So I think that by now DJI has fully caught up and made all of their newest drones fully compatible with the goggles, head tracking and all. The only feature that stays dedicated to the Mavic is the wireless capability, basically being able to turn the goggles on, put them on your head and being able to use them not plugged in. This is due to the AcuSync transmission system, whether we'll see this in a new Phantom drone or a new Spark or a new Inspire. I'm not sure. I feel like it's going to be one of those things that is dedicated just to the Mavic because I feel like they would have put it in the Spark. The Spark came out after the Mavic. Anyway, that's going to stay dedicated to the Mavic for now. But if you have a Spark, I feel like this is not like a bad thing. Like plugging or being able to plug into the goggles and use them the same way you would with the Mavic is definitely not a killer to the Spark. As far as some other changes are concerned in this firmware update of the goggles, a remote controller signal strength icon was added to the HUD when you look into the goggles, which is definitely a good feature. I mean, you always want to make sure you have good connection between the remote and the actual drone itself so they don't end up crashing or totally losing signal. Finally, audio quality has been optimized in this firmware update. I didn't hear anything in the startup sound or the startup noise that it makes. I tried to record a little clip for you guys of before and after for this update, but I heard nothing. I heard no difference, and in fact, it was a lot harder to pick up through the mic than I anticipated. The only thing that I noticed is that the menu clicks, like when you're swiping through the menu, sound a little bit snappier. They sound a little bit faster. Uh, that's something to look out for. Maybe I'm just crazy, uh, but yeah, optimized audio quality. <laughs> Anyway, that does it for this firmware update for the goggles. These things are only getting better every single time that they release firmware updates for them, which is what I anticipated, but honestly, I just cannot wait for the next iteration of goggles. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. These things are still only available for pre-sale, but I just know that DJI is going to be able to make these things smaller and add a bunch of cool new features. But guys, that wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.